Hey, Beans. So, I've made a few videos in the past about creepy things in Animal Jam, but a lot of the time it's mostly stuff that I feel you guys will find creepy that I don't find that scary. But, whether it's good or bad, the other day I got an email about a conspiracy that, after checking it out, actually really freaks me out. So I thought I would go ahead and share it with you guys. It started in an email from this person named that old barn XX. This person told me that out of boredom they were just looking up random beta accounts with random usernames and they were just finding some cool stuff. So basically what they did is they looked up this username called trading. Yeah, it's actually trading. Remember these are beta accounts so they have really old usernames that you couldn't even get close to getting anymore. Note the look that this person is using. So basically in this person's den they've written zero out of plushies but for some reason half of it has disappeared. All they have in their den is this portal to to this person's zero's den and zero's den looks pretty normal and i mean it's there's nothing special about it but in the corner here there's a little gravestone with a plushy koala on it note that when i click zero's username nothing shows up and if i try and search the username zero it can't be found so basically this den was created by someone who no longer exists now it definitely gets weirder than this. Again, remember that trading's main look was that weird looking koala. When you look up the username 2 and note the look this person is using, and then visit 2's den, you'll find a den portal that's been mysteriously deactivated. When you look up the username 3, the person has the exact same look, and when you head to their den, there's the exact same den portal in the exact place that leads to Zero's den. The same goes for usernames like 5, same look, same den, to the exact same other den, 8, who also has the exact same look, and of course, as you're probably figuring out by now, the exact same den leading to the exact same den, and of course, the den portal also leads to Zero's den. And finally, we have Ten, who is also wearing a head feather for some reason, who once again has a portal leading to this person's den. The same goes for a bunch of other random beta accounts like their username Den, Adventure, and even this person named Truth, even though their den is locked. I honestly feel like if we could uncover all the usernames of all the accounts that lead to Zero's den, they would have some sort of message hidden in them based on this collection of numbers and names. There are even really obscure ones like this person named Temple. So at this point, it probably seems like all these different numbers and letters and words and dens that I found probably just mean nothing. They're just one person who had a bunch of random beta accounts. And there are probably a ton of other words that no one has discovered that lead to the exact same place. So the question is, why would this person go to all this length to make this really sad looking den with a koala in a graveyard? Well, someone actually posted it to Google Plus and an anonymous person said that it was related to this person named Blankets with a Z and that they were their friend a long time ago. But unfortunately, one of their really close friends passed away and they never played the game again. And so in an effort to give a tribute, they just left this one random black koala plushie and a ton of other dens leading to this one den. Now, at this point, we're probably getting more into the speculation part. I don't exactly believe this and I think it's just people adding on to the conspiracy, but it has been said that if you stand next to this plushie for too long, your game will crash, and there are videos of it online, though those can be easily faked, and it's possible that people just had a coincidence. So there's your Animal Jam conspiracy for today about this tiny little black koala just sitting next to a gravestone in this den filled with rain. I made a top 10 creepiest things on Animal Jam list, and I really wish I had known about this way back then. To think that someone created this huge elaborate network of dens that all led to a huge memorial for their best friend who passed away is definitely something that gives me shivers every time I think about it. So anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching. Go check this out for yourself, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.